Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Haula H. Kadir and I will be presenting the Registrar Concern for School Year 2021-2022. So here are the topics that we're going to discuss. Admission requirements for old and new students, process on submission of the requirements, deadline of submission, process on requesting for documents. And here are the terms that we're going to know. LRN or the Learner's Reference Number, LIS or the Learner Information System, SF9, formerly known as Form 138 or Report Card, SF10, formerly known as Form 137 or Student's Permanent Record. So here are the requirements for the admission for the old students, Report Card, Full Body Picture, Please remember that shorts for male is not allowed, and female should wear a hijab. For the new students, LRN or Learner's Reference Number, Report Card, PSA, NSO Original and Photocopy, Good Moral Certificate, 2x2 two two or half body colored picture, full body colored picture, and Form 37. And we will be giving you a request letter so you can request to your previous school. Submit all mentioned requirements in long brown envelope. Here are the frequently asked questions during enrollment. Number one, what is LRN or the learner reference number? The LRN is a 12-digit number given by the DEPED to the student. The unique learner reference number, LRN, will be issued to all elementary and secondary school students nationwide. It will be each student's permanent identification number while they complete the basic education curriculum and will be effective even if they will transfer to other schools. So as you can see, it is also in their progress report card of the student. How important is LRN? LRN is usually being asked every time you enroll, most especially if you are a transfer student, so that is how important LRN is. What is LIS or Learner Information System? In Deped Order Number 26, Series of 2015, Learner Information System and Enhanced Basic Education Information System, updating for beginning of school year. 2015 to 2016 to establish accurate and reliable registries of learners and schools which will ensure availability of data and information needed. This is also help us to monitor the, stu the status of the students. So this is how LIS looks like. Here in the LIS can be seen the list of classes and the number of enrolled students. You can see in the LIS from the student profile is his history where from where school he came from How are you going to submit the requirements There are many ways on how you can submit your requirements for new students only Number one, through online, take a clear picture or scan each of the documents back to back if necessary for PSA, NSO, certificate, wall picture, focus on name and the PREN number, the encircled in the picture or in the image is the BREN number, send it through registrar at eaisacademy.com.ph. Second, you can send it via car courier through LBC, GRS, Express Padala. Remember to put all the documents in long brown envelope. Please take note the receiver will be EEIS School Registrar located at number 1 Ferrer Compound, Pinagbuhatan, Pasig City. And it it can also be hand carried to school. The registrar window is open daily from Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. 
to 2 p.m. Remember to put all the documents in long brown envelope. Deadline for submission of all hard copies of the requirements will be on August 31, 2021 for Form 137 before the first quarterly exam. Incomplete school credentials, no clearance. How to request for school documents? Request for electronic copies of certificates, diploma, good moral, Form 137, and Form 138. Fill out the requisition form via Google Forms. Link is available in the school website. The registrar shall issue the notification response through the email you indicated in the Google Forms. Follow instructions for payment. Releasing of documents shall be from 3 to 5 working days upon filing of request. For Form 137, letter of request from the requesting school must be submitted and must indicate where the documents shall be released. So here are the steps for on how you can request your hard copies. First, fill out the requisition form. Second, make payment. Third, get the stub for the release of requested documents. And the last step is claim the documents on the date indicated in the stub. For our social media accounts, email account, and contact number will be flashed on the screen. Welcome to the new school year and thank you for listening.